Hello students I welcome you all back to your English classes I am Harshita your English teacher So students this week we completed a new poetry that is poetry chapter number 10 gliders parachutes and helicopters right So students now that we are done with the explanation of the poetry we will move on to the question answers part so in today's video i'm going to discuss all the questions with you right apart from that i want all of you to also go through the description box after doing all the question answers which i have just told you about you will be doing one question on your own right that question is question number 5 on page number 100 so that question will be done by you people on your own in your own language right students before moving on i want all of you to do those three important things and these are like share and subscribe my channel also remember to click on the bell icon right by clicking on bell icon you will be able to get all the instant updates right Before moving on for the question answers students i want you all to know that now we are done with our syllabus for pt2 examination in our pt2 examination we'll be getting four chapters in total two from grammar and two from literature right so i hope by now you all have completed all the chapters you all have completed all your work Also I request you all to watch my previous videos also to have a quick recap of these topics right so now let's start with the question answers so let's start the question answers question number 1 it is an rtc so it goes this way a gust of wind rushes and shoots these globulus puffy parachutes a part what is the role of the wind The answer is the role of the wind is to rush and shoot the puffy parachutes. B part why does the poet call the seeds globulus? The poet calls the seeds globulus as they are in the shape of a globe. C part choose the two poetic devices that are used in the given lines. So the two poetic devices that are used in the given lines are onomatopoeia and alliteration right moving on to question number 2 this is also an rtc these soldiers of nature known for their deeds aren't modern machines but tireless seeds a part which deeds does the poet refer to so students here the poet refers to the movement of the seeds that their parent plant to various other places perhaps it also refers to the fact that these seeds travel long distances as they are carried by the wind in one sense they are responsible for the evolution of new species of plants thus they are known for their selfless deeds of giving birth to a new plant despite all the obstacles that come in their way right b part Why does the poet call them tireless? The poet calls them tireless as they continue to move on their paths and go on from place to place until they finally land up at their destination. They do not stop or give up, but persevere, not thinking how far the place is or how long it takes. They protect the upcoming plant that is contained in the seed, just as soldiers guard their nations. right c part identify the poetic devices used in soldiers of nature so here students the poetic device which is used is metaphor right moving on to question number 3 why do you think the poet calls the gliders magical so the answer is the movement of gliders is similar to that which is usually seen in aircrafts like gliders and since these seeds do not have any such mechanism therefore they seem to be magical to the poet right moving on to question number 4 successful wind travelers never weary explain what you think the poet means so here students the poet means that the parachute seeds 
despite travelling so much never get tired they are propelled and pushed by the wind at great speed to different places yet they do not show any signs of exhaustion and are successfully able to move forward moving on to the last question which is question number 5 based on your reading of stanza 3 Do you think the poet is justified in calling the helicopters wondrous? Why or why not? And the answer is yes the poet is justified to call the helicopters wondrous as these seeds have rigid naked twin spread blades which help them fly like a helicopter. The poet calls the seeds forward flying airy fighters because even though they do not have any mechanical support like a helicopter they carry themselves from place to place thus are doing the scientific innovations of the current times so these are the question answers which you are going to do using the help of the video and now i'm going to mention a question which uh, in the description box which will be done by you all in your own language in the notebook and this sums up our chapter number 10 also this is a poetry thank you